Why is it that they call your father? Because he's an elder in the community, mm -hmm. and everybody knows me as an elder, and I treat everybody like my own children, some say grandfather, yeah, because I have a lot of grandchildren, even though most of them are not around me. Mm -hmm. Most of them overseas. Some is in Canada, some is in England, some is in America. Mm -hmm. some, they, some is as far as Germany. Mm -hmm. oh. I, yeah, I have a granddaughter now, she's in, she's in Germany. She go to school over Netherlands, and she live in Munster. Germany, mm -hmm. yeah, and he's a spiritualist. What is a spiritualist? I will give you a, a better definition. A spiritualist is a person that sometimes they can see past, present, and futuristic events mm -hmm. that is unfolding presently. Yeah. Just as I just told you a short while ago, and you can't deny these are the things that I do. A lot of people bring people to me and say, Father, mm -hmm. Tell this person something about himself. He's very sick and he can't sleep at night and so and so. And then say, I don't depend on him also. And then me look at me and say, no, no don't no depend on him. He's diabetic, he have sugar. A lot of people rob people then we there, you know. Yeah. Tell them say don't be depend on him when nothing no go so. Yeah. He's just sick otherwise, diabetic. Sometimes they have some bad fever like like he a fever. Oh. When just shakes on him says, don't depend on him also, not no go so. I hear a fever him out. So I just tell him in bush when he get beat up, put him on him bed and cover him up on him bed. Okay. Get rid of it. I also like a herbal physician. I give people holistic medicines for various complaints. People come here, they have bad, people that call bad foot, sore foot. And I put on a plaster upon him with some medicine and say, go to your yard. And don't make it come off. Come back tomorrow, or maybe bus tonight, and you see what come out. I people come and then carry back all the alex back full of worm. You come out of them foot 17 years. One come and sit down, this one, I three, this one, and put on a plaster upon the foot and then go home and then come back three days' time. Then pick out about 20 odd worm out of the foot and say, three years, I'm not sleep. Those are the kind of things that do me heal people. People have some big belly in front of them when I go down. I give them medicine for that. Carry down that flat, flat. People have pain and suffer for all kinds of pain for all 20 or 30 years. And I take half hour and stop that. And so much I say to your father, I say just bless me up, man. Anything God lay upon your heart. Yeah? These are the kind of things I do. I wet up enough people in my yard all the while when they come and say, I want to do so and so, I want to mash up Sierra, I want to mash up Tom. I wet him up and run him out of my yard and say, I don't mash up people. I build people, I help people at that. God give me a gift for do. I am not an obia man. I am a spiritualist. Or some people that say scientists. And what is your gift? My gift is to heal people and to help people to get through with things that seem impossible and hard to attain. That is what I do. What's the difference with an Obia man and a spiritualist? A Obia man is a man who work with dead man, bone and all that kind of something there. I don't do that. Because you can't mix evil and good. The fountain cannot bring bitter and sweet water at the same time. No? So you can't have God now one and Satan now that. But, it is said, out of evil comes what good. You understand? So you can use spirit to help to bring out goodness. No sin no of that. But when I use him for do evil, for mash up people, kill people, then they are sin. You know, if you do that, because you can create, so why you try to destroy? Don't do that. So what are you led by? Well, I'm led by spiritual intuition, yes? And I have three things that I stand on daily, three principles in my life that guides me. Reason, meaning, and purpose. I know the reason why I am here today. I know what is the meaning of life, and I try to serve my purpose as a spiritualist. 
outside of that, right? Do you have a spiritual background? Did you come from a Christian home? Where did this just come from? Yes. This is a ancestral gift. Coming from my great great grandmother. Come right down to my grandmother, to my mother and my grandfather. My grandmother lived to be 103 years old. My grandfather died a few weeks before his 100th birthday. And my mother did way up 90, 90 odd, because cancer take her. And at the time I was in St. Thomas, and they did call me and tell me where I'm going. I could have cured her. Yeah, I know it's cured for a lot of cancer. Bad stomach, ulcer, sinus. Because my grandmother is a maroon, and my grandfather is a Indian. That entails that me have spiritual and and gifts from both sides. So the maroon them know roots and herbs endless. And them and them they to me then show me them and then tell me what them good for, when me can use them for and when me can use them. Because you have certain bush, you know, if you pick your boy and the people, you kill them. But you wait until you see goat crap you eat it. You pick it and give me can't do it because at that time you pick it poison. Spirit full of people come here and say, you know, can't come in my yard. Mm -hmm. They put up things, bar him out of my yard and can't come in there. So you're able to sense spirits? Sense spirit. Or feel their presence or see of them? Of course you can feel them presence because right now if I'm there, so, like you see like a cold bump up a man. Yeah. When spirit come around me, cold bump take me. Oh. I can feel them presence and see me dash the room or something. Earlier, I observed you pouring some of the rum yes. side by side. That is called libation. Libation. Can you yes. tell me what that Honoring is? Honoring of the ancestors. Old spirit, them, you honor them. By, that's why you see most dropping rum here and there. Honoring the ancestors, that is what is called libation. So, are you in touch? You made mention that you're coming from a spiritual background and your ancestor mm -hmm. teaches certain things. Mm -hmm. Now, are you in touch with them in any way? Do they speak to you? Do you feel guided by them in any sense? They visit me from time to time. Okay. Visit me from time to time. They visit you from time to time. They tell you they help you? Yes, they give me, they give me insight of things. Mm -hmm. I was going to a place one time and the spirit come to me in a vision and said to me, say, Father, don't go back there, don't drink nothing there. They might try to poison you. And two somebody where I got a place, two me and somebody dead in a line. Mm. And I don't do them nothing. I lift my hand and my face to God. One time I go out one yard. The spirit then say a spirit a stony house. And when I go there, I walk around the house and look. <laughs> and I laugh. And I say, if I come here, I must pick up. No spirit now around the house. Mm -hmm. I say, I somebody a trick on me because they want to run away to get the house and the place. And I see a man look for his wife. And he call her name. And he say, you know, I feel sad that man there are uh, uh, going to foolishness. So I say, he say, but one spirit, uh, one spirit come out the window and a crab the window. I say, you sure say that spirit? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, because I'm hearing crabby wind at night. He said, when the stone drop on the house, I want to come out at morning time. When you see any ice stone, he said, no. He said, all right, you want me to tell you how they do? I heist them at you up on the house. When you throw ice on the house, I drop on the house, I melt up before daylight. So you can't see nothing like that. So most of the things when people are telling people what I do, it's a trick. That's why I say when they people around me and the people are sick natural. I don't nah take no money and rob them. No. When I left the yard, my man said, Father, you know what I want to drink? I said, give me where you feel like, give me. And when I look at a crab in the window, I want a cane with a pipe set a crab in the window. So I said, cut that cane and give me. <laughs> and I cut, cut the cane and give me and then tie up the cane. I said, I had a couple of days time, I call him, I said, is spirit crab in the window again? He said, no. Because yeah. I was phone. I said, is spirit crab in the window again? He said, no. I said, he can't crab in the window again. Because he came in the pipe and said, I crab in the window. No spirit in the day. Because I tell you, I don't see a spirit.